Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is suing the company Bing over allegations that it scammed black people here in Texas and across the nation. Paxton says Bing asked those affected by the pandemic for monetary donations in exchange for help. Contributors were told they would receive eight times the amount of their contribution. Paxton says victims paid around $1,400 and were promised over $11,000 if they recruited others to join. According to the lawsuit, each person was promised a full refund if they didn't post about the company on social media. The AG says many refund requests have gone unpaid. Thanks. It's a sad thing. It just is. I mean, you give people, you give black people a bad name, and you do these types of crap, and it, it, it's just sad. Reality TV couples scam black communities out of tens of millions in enormous pyramid scheme. Texas Attorney General, husband and wife Lashonda Moore and Marlon Moore, who appeared on Oprah Winfrey Network reality show, Family or Finance, last year. Scam black communities across the nation out of tens of millions of dollars, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, Republican, claimed. In a lawsuit filed in Texas State Court Tuesday, Paxton alleged. Over the course of the pandemic, LaShonda and Marlon Moore, the husband and wife duo of Prosper, Texas, and Bint, have operated an illegal pyramid scheme, blessings in no time. Oh boy, aka Mitt Bint to scan ten of tens of millions of dollars from members of the African-American community throughout the nation. Defendants promised profits and a money back guarantee. Instead, defendants are dissipating assets, leaving thousands of victims in dire straits. <sighs> According to the complaint, the more solicited contributions from promising from, by promises, they would bless and assist the needy members of the African-American community in the wake of the pandemic and economic and social strife. Paxton says those contributions would purportedly result in a return blessing. That would exceed the members were also promised a payout of 11,200 for each participant that would they recruited to make another 1,400 contribution. According to the complaint, Bent members were formally prohibited from posting reviews on social media, mainly remained silent, fearing they would jeopardize their promised payout. The attorney general says, Did, wow. Why can't you, you you always have the freedom to leave uh, reviews about a business that you're involved in? Bent's website proclaims that the organization harnessed the power of digital communities and the Internet to give people the means to raise funds, help others overcome hardship and meet aspirational goals. According to the organization, it is based on the principle of link funding. The website states the core principle behind the link funding definition is you can help a friend or help an entire community. You can do everything from pay for your own surgery to fulfill a student's dream of attending college and so much more. Core not only to Paxton's lawsuit, but also multiple complaints on the Texas Better Business Bureau website. However, Bint's promises were never fulfilled. Multiple Bint members filed Complaints alleging that they made payments of one hundred and forty-two thousand, one thousand four hundred and twenty-five. Oh my God! Wow, one thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollars, but had never received their return blessings. Paxton's complaints complaint claims the state had received nearly two hundred consumer complaints against Bent, resulting in over seven hundred thousand payments never refunded as promised. In addition to their own reality show appearance, also known as DJ ASAP, was reportedly the resident of DJ on BET's show 106 in Park for four years and has continued his ascent into mixed master stardom since the show's cancellation in 2014. Wow. 
this is so this is so sad this this really is okay i mean i could kind of i kind of feel sorry for these people who um got duped by these these uh these individuals i kind of but it's like you know these ministry schemes and stuff like that they only work for people who are really really desperate and people who really don't like to work i'm going to be honest the only way you could really scam people like this if they don't like to work they hate working okay that's it you have to hate working in order to be scammed like this that's how i see it you know dfwradio.com the tweet everyone please join trey's universe 7 p.m cst today with special guests lashonda stimel and Dr. Dre Moore, and I'm sorry, Dre Moore from the Oprah Winfrey Show called Family of Finance. We will be discussing the episode airing this Saturday, February 1st. Please tune in today. Oh boy. The couple also runs Mogul Behavior, which according to its website is the biggest lifestyle accelerate change lives and the financial, financial mindset of the people worldwide. My thing is this, okay? <sighs> accelerating you it takes time to build finances it takes time to build savings it takes time that's the thing you have to be patient and willing to work and i only see people getting caught up with this if they hate working okay if you hate working yeah you're gonna get uh, become a, a potential victim of these get rich quick schemes mogul behavior claims to have 30 plus years of financial industry and credit management experience i don't anytime you have these industries i claim that try to be hip try to be uh try to be in the know try to be hip hosh hip hopish you know it's a scam because it just goes to instant gratification it's basically appealing to your lower base passions you know to have things right now that's not how it works. You have to work at things. Okay. And its main objective is to maximize your lifestyle and turn your dreams into goals. On the mogul website, the Moors attest, we promise that there is a method to our success. Your success is scamming people. That is your, that is your method to success. Scam the, down, the downtrodden. Use the pandemic to scam your own people. Talk about black on black crime. Last year, LaShonda more touted her business acumen via Twitter. My husband likes when I talk that business language, she wrote. You know, stocks, real estate securities, M's in both bank accounts, no debt, etc. Paxton has asked the court to freeze Bent's assets, order that any business dealings in the state, and compensate the victims. Neither the Moors nor anyone at Bint responded to a request for comment. This is just, it, it's despicable, man. It's despicable. It really is. And it's it's sad that, you know, the, you, these people took advantage of those who are in need. And sad to say, you're going to have people saying that I'm hating you know, that I'm a coon, that I'm a self-hater, that I'm an agent. When actually, see, that's the sad thing. When you actually care about, you know, the black community and you're black, you're looked upon as an enemy. But people like this, you know, right here, because they come from the culture, they looked upon as someone you could trust because they look like you, talk like you. No. This is why I like Martin Luther King's uh, words when he said, people should not be judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character, the content of their character. If they look like you, talk like you, and they may be in the dire straits like you, it may be a bad sign to trust them. It may be, because it means they may be, doing, be willing to do anything and a whole lot more than you're willing to do to be fed, which is scamming you. Blessings in no time blessings in no time right there that's that's just a giveaway this is a scam it's a pandemic it's hard out here yes it's hard out here 
But you better be thinking real, you know, you better be thinking real long and hard before you do something stupid. And then you you better be you better because when you're desperate and you don't think you're gonna do some really dumb crap. Oprah has always supported this sort of trash. It's sad to say, if she trusted these people, I don't think she really did her homework. Or the fact that she probably just saw these people as a come up, you know, and uh, she saw them as people that, you know what, you're going to do your stuff, you can do your dirt, I don't really care. So I'm going to just let you do what you want to do. That's it. She probably saw this. She probably said, like, game recognizes game. That's what she probably saw it as. And just like, yeah, whatever, do what you want. Because you don't, I don't think Oprah really cares about black people like that. I don't. I really don't. Because if she did, she would have fried these people. She would have fried them. And just thrown them to, to black people like here. These people are, su they're scammers. You know, do what you want with them. I wash my hands of these people. I've, I've shown you who these types of people are. They're crooks. All right. There's so many people. There was a black woman who uh, made a scam with the PPP loans for the COVID bus for businesses during COVID. And she's about to go to jail and she had to set up a GoFundMe account. All right. A lot of people are going to jail over, over COVID because they're not willing to find other avenues to work. Okay, they're not willing to, you know, find a, a, a new type of work, uh, um, doing something else that make you an essential worker. So it's very hard for you to, to not find work. It's very hard for you to not find work if you're an essential worker. Okay, instead, some are following instant gratification. All right. And it's going to get worse because the, the the economy is tanking. It is tanking. All right. It's going down the toilet. We're spending, the government's spending more money than it's getting. A lot of things are going down. All right. Tell me what you think in the comments. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm also on Spotify. I'm on Anchor. I'm on Stitcher. I'm on Twitter. Truth Teller 99. All right. Later.